Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Weekly. I'm Ben Henry. And I'm jo Joseph. What the fuck? Ruben? Yes, yes, no, but. Ruben. I'm Ben Henry. I'm the co host here. I have a lot of fun all the time. This isn't okay. really Matt Henry. This I is understand. Ruben. What are you um, doing? I'm, the thing is, I got him 12 donuts. He's in the green room right now, okay. so I'm pretending to be him so I can get face to face to you and talk to you about okay. something because okay. this is really hard to okay. do. Say what you're going to say. About about a few minutes. I bought us a few minutes okay. of those donuts. Good, good, good. All right, Ruben. Uh, Matt. <laughs> Matt, Ooh, as you, you know, called, you rang. <laughs> As you know, it's Women's Week here women's on Friday week. Night Week. Oh, you know, it's uh, women. I love women. I love kissing women. I also need to talk to you. Hey, I drink Coca-Cola all day because Coca-Cola is a soda and I love sugary snacks. Coca-Cola, in this case, is a cold word for cocaine because that's a drug we deal. We're talking about women this week. Just, just stay with me here, okay? So, the thing is, now... Alex Trapp gave us multiple pounds of this stuff, okay? And I thought we could maximize profit if I ground up some glass in there and cut it with glass. Ground up glass. When you grind that stuff up, it looks a lot it like cocaine, okay? So what I did is I did that. And peop it, unfortunately, it's been having adverse effects to our customers. You wouldn't put in shaved glass? Shaved and... glass, yes. It looks oh. just like cocaine. But, no, but the problem is when people ingest that, blood comes out. And we got a problem on our okay. hands. We have, we have blood on our hands. People have died. Mothers. Grandmothers. It's daughters. Scoonie! My best friend, Scoonie! <laughs> hey, Scoonie! <laughs> Hey, hey I, brought, I brought some sugar. You should try hey, some sugar, because you'll do anything I tell you. Watch this. You don't fucking believe me. Like Watch on, this. on donuts. On donuts, yeah. Try it out. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> P.U. Uh, Blood all over the table. <laughs> if you had a cold, you should have stayed home today. That's from the glass. That's from the glass, actually. The women, it's not, that's sweet not actually, as sugar, it's not as sugar we would say. It's not actually sugar, it is cocaine. What we're hey, trying hey, to hey, say hey, is hey. we're sweet on women no, here. Sweet on women, I'm sweet on video games. Do you have any more donuts? Are you wearing my shirt? I need it back. Did you guys start this, this episode without me? What you... News of the week. Can I have my shirt back, though? Progress in Nepal. Now preparing its first constitution in the country's history following the abolition of a 239 year standing Hindu monarchy, Nepal continues on the forward path, joining a small number of nations including New Zealand and Australia in officially recognizing a third gender on passports and all other relevant legal documents. No word on whether a third gender option will become available in public bathroom facilities, but if it does, we've already got the sign ready. Recently, jihadi cleric Aldima al Kassab posted a YouTube video advising all future jihadi terrorists to be sodomized for a while so that they can shove more explosives up their b-holes. In the video, he stated, This is totally not about me trying to fuck dudes in the ass, because it'll help us do terrorist stuff. But, like, I mean, if you need someone to help you stretch that hole, I totally will. But it's not gay, because it's for terrorist stuff, right? Plus, we get so many versions later on. I hope they're female versions, otherwise that'd be so gross, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm not gay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In a barbaric attack on free speech, 12 people were gunned down this week at the Paris-based offices of satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo, including the editor and several cartoonists. It is believed this was done in response to cartoon depictions of the Muslim prophet Mohammed published by the magazine, making it the second such attack against Charlie Hebdo following a firebombing in 2011 after they named Mohammed their editor-in-chief making Charlie Hebdo a now repeat victim of violent, deadly attacks over the equivalent of religious Yo Mama jokes. But should Charlie Hebdo just stop? Is it worth risking lives when violent reactions have been known to occur over unfavorable depictions of the Prophet Muhammad? When Charlie Hebdo has seen this firsthand with the blood of their coworkers spilled on their office floors, is it worth making the joke? What about any religious joke for that matter? There's plenty of crazy people out there. Is it worth flying in an airplane or visiting New York City after the World Trade Center attack in 2001? Is it worth riding the train in Madrid after the bombings in 2004, or riding the buses in London after the bombings in 2005? Is it worth believing in God or practicing your own faith? Is it worth it, ever leaving your house or ever opening your mouth? Were those few drawings in themselves worth those lives? No. But those lives did not represent those few drawings. Those lives represented freedom of speech, freedom to be yourself and speak your mind. Those lives represented one of the most precious things any of us has in this life. And for that, we remember Charlie Hebdo. As another French writer once put it, I may not agree with what you have to say, but I'll defend to the death your right to say it. That's our news for the week. And now, Matt, uh, it's Women's Week. Yes, women's it is. Week here on Friday Night <laughs> Weekly. Women's Week. So mm -hmm. we're talking about women. We're, uh, we love them. We're, we love we're putting it all out there for the ladies in the world. In fact, Matt, it's important to remember, women make up half of this earth. <laughs> 
That's like thousands of people. More that's incredible. Less. Wow, that's, more that's than that even. More than that even. Man, that's fact. crazy. Uh, many women in the that world. That's crazy. So this week, we all decided we'd do a little piece about women specifically. Mm-hmm. I originally had this idea to do women's rights, okay? People always talk about it, women's rights, women's rights. But then I hop in front of my computer, load up the website Google, type in some stuff. I type in women's rights, and lo and behold, I got 206 million hits. What? Why? Why women's rights 206 million? I type in women's lefts. What do I get? I get 1,070. Okay? So what are we going to do is sit here and talk about women's rights more? It's been talked about 200 million times. Why do we need to talk about it anymore? Let's talk about women's lefts. So that's why I'm going to tell you guys a little bit something that you might not know about women's lefts. Now, I love women, all, all of them. I love their left side, their right side, their in-between side. I love it all. So, for example, um, right here, I, I've got a picture of a left side of a woman with a fan. Okay? It's, it's okay it's the left side. It doesn't have to be the right side. It doesn't have to be always women's rights. Okay? This woman... She left the car, okay? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, another woman here, she's got her left arm in the air. It's not women's rights. It's her left. What's the big deal? Okay, you know? This, this woman, she's, she's playing the, the guitar with her left hand. What, are we going to ride in the streets about it? No, she's just playing the guitar the way she wants with women's lefts. It's not a big deal. Uh, we, got, we got the left side of the booty here. You know, God gave us two cheeks for a reason. It's not always women's rights. It can be the left too. That's not a problem. Uh, you got an, another woman here. She's, you know, she wanted to get a left titty tat. I thought I taught a left titty tat. Who cares? It doesn't matter. She didn't have to get it on the right one just because of women's rights. Okay, it doesn't work that way. Uh, this woman, she left her pajamas on at work. You go, girl. Do you get your work done? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Uh, this woman, she's got some leftovers. I'll eat them up. You don't want that lettuce and tomato? Don't fret. I'll throw it on a double cheese. Everything will be cool. Uh, we've, you know, this woman has some leftover rees. Women have those, right? Uh, another woman here. It's a bride left at the altar. Who cares? Society these days is so focused on women's rights. A woman can't even be left at the altar. She has to be right at the altar. And here at F and W, we want you to forget about that. Forget about women's rights and focus more on women's left. Thank you. <laughs> what? Okay, that's nonsense. What? No, that's, that's that good. is just nonsense. That's Let's move one. on. All right, so we got a guest. We have a guest, right? Yes, season two, part two, guys, and he's back. My spiritual advisor, Matt Mass, is ah, back on the Matt show. Mass, yep. hey. Time All for right. some good feelings. Let's bring him back. All right, Matt Mass. Matty Mass boy. That's what I call him. Bring him back. Bring him back. Hey. Bring him back. He's here. He's here. Yeah, yes. Welcome. Yes, welcome. yes, 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 yes. So uh, you said you, you're here, you've got some good feelings for us, right? you got you got some uh, spiritual I advice? I see we're going to change up a little bit here. Change it up? We'll okay, up. what do you... I have a message for the women out there. The women? Oh. the women. <laughs> okay. So uh, I need you, everyone, all the males out there, to cover your ears. Oh. Us too. Okay. You okay. too. Okay. okay, so only for the women out there, guys at home, cover your ears. This is only for the ladies. Ear women's muscle. week. Ear women's muscle. week. <laughs> all right? Okay. okay. All right. Can you hear me? What? So, unless your name's Angelique... Jose Garcia, I need earmuffs too, from all you women, unless your name's Angelique Jose Garcia. Angelique, if you can hear my voice, I'm sorry for what I've done to you. I was sorry that I had sex with your sister. I didn't know she was your twin. I'm better for it, baby. Angelique, calm me tonight. Okay, can we, we... Shut up. Okay. A man is talking. Okay. A man is talking, Angelique. I'm a man for you, Angelique. Jose. Okay. See? Wow. That looks like a good one. <laughs> Passionate, I have to believe. Yeah. Uh, oh my good goodness. Good feelings, ladies. I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> Matt Mass, thank, thank, thank you again. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Great. Wow. Well, ladies, wow. uh, leave it in the comments below. What did you think of Matt Mast? Uh, that's great. Uh, I, that's yeah, that, that We're kind of like curious. Life-changing advice right yeah. there, it looked like. <laughs> okay, great. All right, well, now concluding our Women's Week here, we have one more special report from our special reporter, Ruben Glazer. Ruben Glazer. A good friend of mine. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see the Ruben Report back in action. This week he did a topic of feminism. Feminism, yeah. So, uh, I heard he's got a, someone he interviewed about it. Uh, yeah. It sounds exciting. This is going to be great. So let's check it out. The Ruben Report is back.
Hello, nice to see you again. I'm Ruben Glazer and welcome back to the Ruben Report. Or I should say the Ruben Report 2.5. Why? Because you may have noticed there's something a little different about the intro. Hugh, Hugh, play it back. Roll it back. No, no, play the thing again and roll it back. Like a couple seconds. Now you're pressing the lever too hard. No, 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 no. Forward a little. Just stop, stop, stop it now. That, that's it right there. You can see it right there. Another thing that's different is me, your host, Ruben Glazer. Why? Because I saw a man die at the zoo last Tuesday. So I have with me in my home today a very special guest. She is a prominent Jezebel.com blogger. She goes under the pseudonym of Sally Tubes. So hello, Sally. <clears throat> so now that I have an audience, I just want to let everybody know that that show Fargo, oh my god, completely sexist. I can't stand it. It's ridiculous. That stupid macho bullshit. Uh, actually, we're going to be discussing a very touchy subject in America right now. Uh, that subject is feminism. So, okay. Recently, I was uh, subjected to a real ugly dose of reality when I accidentally waded into the topic on my personal Facebook page and I was uh, called some very rude things. So, Sally, should I kill myself? Yes. All you straight white males, talk, 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 talk. Would you just sit and listen for once? Let me teach you a new word. It's called patriarchy. Ever heard of it? Hello? I'm not familiar with exactly the definition. If you could maybe tell the viewers, it's kind of a vocabulary oh word. Oh my can... god. Excuse you. I resent that male gaze. Hey, Sally. I think it would be topical if I read to you a, one of my favorite Dr. Seuss quotes. Uh-huh. Another cisgendered, straight, white... What do you think of uh, Betsy Ross? She sure was a trailblazer, wasn't she, in feminism? Um, I can see you trying to look up my skirt with the back of your head. Put your fucking thermostat down! I'm not a fucking piece of meat! I just, you know, I thought I was gonna... We, there... No means no. No means no. No means no. No means... Okay, um, <laughs> that's odd. Okay, it seemed like that was a bit of an, like an error version, no, so that's... we'll have Ruben come out. That's always how it is. Um, hey, Ruben. Hey, guys. Yeah, I think the, uh, something got messed up with the tapes. There was some weird cuts and, like, a hack, hack edit in there. Uh, bit, bit so, you know what they say, Joseph, sometimes when you're shooting on all cylinders, they all are blanks. Jeez. But But that was supposed to be like that? It was garbage. It was garbage. Well, you know, I've always uh, worked under the, uh, you know, the conditions that when you're given garbage, you just cut it up so it looks real, real pretty, and that's what I did there. It's kind of like origami. You know, you take a blank sheet of paper, nobody likes that, and you fold it up into a beautiful little dove. You savage it. And that's right, right, right. What I okay, did here. but there's a difference between an origami dove and like a paper basketball, which you kind of made here. I think. And you know what you just kind of made was a hurtful remark. Okay. Well, you know, it's something a friend it. wouldn't say to a friend. But we got to keep it separate. Your so, but you're not. Don't tell him. Can we tell stop him with that? this? I like, like your friend. I like. Just go. I, he's not. You're not friends. But but thank you. I'm sick of hearing about that. It's I, like a, it's that every you. time thing now. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to say we're good friends. Everybody knows. But all right, that's it. That's our show for the week. I hope I hope everybody at home enjoyed Women's Week. Hey, hey, nobody told me we got sugar here. Are you serious? I'm gonna use this for my uh, my pocket D. Okay. Well, in fact, Matt, I'm not actually sure that that's sugar. I don't know if you should. You know, in fact, I don't know that you really need that much sugar, Matt. Not bad. Not bad. Forget about women's rights and focus more on women's left.